Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Learn It With V. Today, let's talk about email management. This video will help you learn more about keeping a well-managed and organized inbox. Now, I will share a step-by-step -step tutorial for everything that you need to know about it. So, let's go. What is email management? Email management is basically how you deal with your emails. It's like organizing your inbox and deciding which emails are important and keeping everything tidy. If you are doing this for your client, your tasks will be to organize, categorize, prioritize, and even respond to his emails on your behalf. You will also help with filtering and unsubscribing, ensuring that only the relevant emails will reach the inbox. So these are the inbox categories and this is your primary inbox. The primary inbox are emails from people that you know and messages that don't appear in other tabs. So this is the primary and then this is the social tab. This tab is messages from social networks and media sharing sites. Now the promotions tab are deals, offers, and other promotional emails. The updates tab now contains notifications and confirmations, uh, receipts, bills, and statements. And the forums tab are messages from online groups, discussion boards, and mailing lists. Currently, my forums tab is empty, so that's good. If you don't like seeing all these tabs when you open Gmail, go ahead and edit that by clicking on Settings icon. Click See All Settings. Go to Inbox tab and then uncheck these boxes that you don't want to see. Primary, Social, Promotions, and Forums. And then make sure to click Save. Now that all of that is free from your eyes we have to organize them in folders like this now gmail calls it labels and i have a lot of labeled emails already here but i'll show you how to create one just click on the plus sign here on labels and decide what you want to name your folder or labels so let's go with billers if you want to nest it or to make it as a subfolder under an existing label, tick the box nest label under and then select a parent label or folder. If not, just unselect that and click on create. You can also change the color of the, of the label by clicking on the three dots beside your label and then hover to label color and then select the color that you like and it will color the inbox in a while. So let's choose purple. Next, we want to create a filter for the emails that are billers so that we will be able to see them in color when they arrive in your inbox. So all of your billers will be inside here. So step two is to go to your search bar and type bills. Don't hit enter yet, but click on the search options button. If you want to specify, paste the email address here from your billers or only label those that have attachment. Take has attachment and then click create filter. So if you can see, it does not match any conversation. So let's remove the email address for now and remove the has attachment. Let's create another filter for that. Now you can see below that it has 49 email matches, which means that the filter that you have just created applies to 49 emails. Now, if you want to match that with more emails, you can go back and edit your filter. Let's remove S from bills and click on create filter again. And now you can see that it matches to more emails from 49 to 54. Now, if you don't want to be notified from these emails when it reaches your inbox, but still have a copy of those emails, just tick the box, skip inbox, archive it. So this function will automatically detect any email that has the word bill from the filter that we just created. And it will swipe them directly to the folder or the label that we chose to put it under. I will explain that in a while. But for now, we just want to keep, we just want to color these emails when they reach your inbox. So let's select apply label 
and then choose the drop down and you will see the label that you created a while ago billers will show up here you can also create a new label from this drop down aside from how we did it a while ago so you can also categorize your emails here by clicking on the drop down but we're not doing that today maybe in another video soon now note that the filter that we are creating are for future emails only so if you want to have all the bill in emails that is already in your inbox labeled as billers tick the box also apply filter to 54 matching conversations and you will see that all of the emails that had the word bill in it will be then colored and labeled accordingly so there you have it that's one email that has the label billers now I'm going to send myself an email that has the word bill to let you see when an email arrives with the word bill in it, it will automatically color and label it. So since we created the label a while ago and we allowed it to skip the, in the inbox, it's not showing in the inbox anymore. But when you go to the label, it has the word bill in it. And it's labeled as billers too. So by the way, this filter will run unless you delete the label. So to do that, just click on the three dots beside the label and click on remove label and then click on delete too. Now, how do you archive an email so that it will not land in either your inbox or in any of your labels here? Like you just don't want to be notified when that specific email arrives. But you just want to save a copy of those emails in case you want to take a look at them later. Again, go to the search bar, go to the inbox and go to the search bar and type the email that you want to archive. Let me look for emails from HubSpot. Type HubSpot in the search bar and then click the search options icon here and then click on create filter. And this time we want to tick the box skip inbox and archive it this is what i meant before that gmail will swipe these emails and send it directly to your archive so now click on create filter and to see those emails just go to the left menu and click all mail and you will see all of your archived emails here now when you want to see your inbox just go back to the inbox on the left hand menu okay now that we have cleared out your inbox let's make your gmail experience easier for when you will be clearing out new emails that you have not labeled yet because we can never label all of the new emails that we receive now we will create functions that will help you with daily inbox management so just a tip for my fellow virtual assistants if you are doing all of these for your client I strongly suggest to aim for the zero inbox method. What does that mean? The zero inbox method is fabricated by Merlin Mann. It basically means you have nothing in your inbox. The goal of this is to triage your emails quickly to reduce clutter and streamline your inbox too. So email triage is a sorting and prioritizing method that forces you to address every email entering in your inbox, like replying or deleting or unsubscribing. So how do we do that efficiently? With this setting, this is how Gmail acts when you open your emails. So when I click on delete, on this email, it will let me go back to the main inbox and I'd have to open another email to take another action. To be efficient with that, go to settings icon and click on see all settings, go to advanced and enable auto advance and click save changes. When you're back to your inbox and take action, I'll delete this email. It will automatically open to the next email so that you can take action from there and not go back to the main inbox. This is very much time saving and it helps you to be methodical. So now you will have a flow that will help you tackle the task easily with less mouse clicks. The last thing that I will show you for today is the auto archive after you receive an email. This will ensure that the emails that you have responded will not linger in your inbox since we are trying to achieve the zero inbox method. If you notice when I reply to an email, the buttons here are send, schedule email. Schedule send is when you want to send this email at a later time of the day for some reason. Okay, so the rest of the buttons here are font settings, attach file, etc. 
To apply the function send and archive, go to your settings, see all settings, go to general and scroll down to send and archive and then tick the radio button show send and archive button in reply and then hit save changes. And now we can see when we open an email and then respond to it, there is a button to send and archive. So after we respond to this email, and now this email will no longer be in your inbox, but it will be in the archived email. So these are the most effective settings that you want to apply in your Gmail to effectively manage your client's inbox or maybe apply it also in your personal Gmail. And that's it for today's video. If you want more tutorials, please put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to create more videos for you. Like this video and subscribe to my channel to get notified of my weekly uploads and tutorials like this. As always, never stop learning. I'll see you soon.